determine the maximum number of size 14 American wire gauge THHN conductors permitted to be installed in a 3 8 inch flexible metal conduit that contains a bare size number 14 American wire gauge grounding conductor where or uh, when the FMC has external fittings. So there's a lot going on in this question. Uh, what we'll do is we'll jump straight to the article for flexible metal conduit. If we don't know where that's at, we would uh, go to the index and look up the article. So flexible metal conduit is article 348. Let's go ahead and jump to article 348, flexible metal conduit. Uh, let's see, we got rigid, 48 was flexible, right there. Uh, now we're going to be looking for conductor fill, right? So there's installation size, and then there's number of conductors. The number of conductors shall not exceed that, that permitted by the percent fill specified in Table 1, Chapter 9, or as permitted in Table 348.22 for metric designator 12, trade size 3 8. This particular question is asking about 3 8 size conductor. So let's take a look at that table that it's referencing there. 348.22 is here. The maximum number of insulated conductors in metric designator 12, trade size 3 8 FMC. There's a little star there. In addition, one insulated cover or bare equipment grounding conductor of the same size shall be permitted. So we're looking for the maximum number of conductors of size 14 THHN. You'll have your different types of wires. THHN is in this third column and we're looking for 14. Now there's two columns within this column and there's fittings inside and fittings outside. This has external fittings, meaning they're going to be on the outside. So again, 14 come across, maximum number, 4. And it, this note again says we are to include that in our count. And that is your answer. Hope that helps.